Hello and welcome back to Forts. Today we're going into Fiber because we're going to be mortar rushing. Here's the playlist. Oh, here's the playlist. There we go. Uh, right, so mortars are actually very easy to do, very fast to get, and just overall a simple starter weapon when you don't really understand the rest of the game. When I first played Rank Match, I. Uh, found it very easy once I I found it very easy to just keep on mortar rushing my enemies like it was there was no other easier way to beat get some easy games easy wins you know all right so we're just doing a little bit of turtling he has okay he he using the he's using the machine gun to try and harass me that's not really going to do anything. Oh, oh wow, okay, yeah. Bit of a lag spike every now and then, you know. Oh. Okay, well he's back now. Uh, as I was saying, we're going for mortars. And the reason why I was Firebird is because he boosts all incendiary, incendiary weapons as a passive. E.g. incendiary mortars, which is very cool. So we're going to just do a little bit more turtling. I mean, I guess you can't really call this turtling, we're just armoring ourselves up. Now, I've had a little practice run here, so I know what I'm doing. Boom. Okay, thankfully for me, he hasn't really got much. But you see how much more fire that does. Usually incendiary mortars don't actually do that much damage. Particularly fire damage. But they still do stuff. Yeah, using the machine gun ain't that effective, mate. You've got to defend your core as well. Build upwards. Oh no! This ain't looking good for him. His core's very exposed. Is he, go is he gonna live? You spend a lot of metal. GG! And that is the fastest kill I've ever gotten. If you guys enjoyed this video, actually, let's do another round. Alright, here we are for round two. This is the first video that I'm doing with actually two rounds, because that video, well, that round, was actually really short. So we're, it's the same opponent again. He's agreed to do uh, another 1v1. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Now, the reason I'm building upwards like this, uh, usually I just do it like 2x2 two to so like this height, uh, is because it actually boosts the efficiency of my turbine. See, usually it's only like 2% more, but it's a difference. And it's a better difference after all. It's not even that much, much, much more expensive either. Right, I think he's planning, because since it is the same opponent, he's going to be expecting stuff. So we're going as Firebird again. Because it still gives us that boost that we need. Boom. Okay. Alright. That was very speedy. Now I'm building without the grid because uh, this is taller than the rest of the 2x2s. Two so of course, it's just going to snap to grid like that. Right, uh, looks like I put this a little bit too far forward. I'll just move it forward, that's fine. It's gonna slow us down, but it, it'll still be fine. Yeah, nothing up here yet, mate. Not yet. He might get more. Oh no, but he's just going to put his turbines there. Okay, well. Uh, oh, that's his claw. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now we will just metal this up. He, he does seem new to the game. A little bit, at least. So, but I'm still going to expect a buzzsaw of him. Oh, wow, okay, wow, okay, wow. Okay, right, wow. 
big lag spike, but it's fine because we're already we're already firing at him. And boom. The amount of fire that does with Firebird though, it's just insane. And that they're so cheap to fire as well. Look at that, I'm already piercing through. Right, he has put metal here. Which I will commend him for, since that is rather smart. Uh, let's hope he ain't put too much in though. Looks like we'll be winning again. Oh, but he's got back many gunners, uh, machine gunners. Don't look like they're firing, they don't have the right angle. Oh, okay. Looks like he'll be living a little bit longer here. But will he live any longer once I get more mortars? Answer. Yeah, I'm still keeping the fire up on him here. Just going to keep on firing. And firing. And firing. See, because these are so cheap to fire, I've had time to stockpile my resources. Alright, I decided to put some more turbines down. Uh, this has been destroyed, so I can't really burn my way to this core through there anymore. But it's fine, as long as I keep on firing, he won't be able to do much. Ooh. Nasty. Okay, and that will be this. Now these can be upgraded to high explosive mortars, which do a lot more damage, but no incendiary. Speaking of, if we do have time, I will try to get that thing down. Now we're going to go at 42% power on this one, to try and hit the same spot, and that hit perfectly. We're trying to focus fire on one spot, just to try and punch through to his core, you know. Oh, he's got a minigunner. Okay. No, I don't want that there. I want a sniper. He's put it back. He still can't do much. Oh, the fire's really coming down on him heavy now. Oh, he's trying to get some more weapons in. Alright, now come uh Firebird's ability makes all weapon all weapons incendiary and it makes warheads do incendiary damage with a five grid square thing. Right, we're gonna upgrade these three at the back here. Because they're harder to hit, making them easier to defend, since they're at the back. Alright, I just got that locked in on there. So these are going to be high explosive mortars now. And fire, look at that. Ah, they all got shot down. Oh, he's got a flak. No. Oh, he's got some more machine gunners. Oh, he's going to get through. Ah, oh, not quite. Okay, he's got one in here. There it goes. Oh, no. Okay, he's got his armadillo because those are armor-piercing minigunners. Alright, so we can slant our armor to make them do lesser damage. And also to make them just bounce off. Which would normal minigunners would do, make them do no damage, which is perfect. Okay, they're firing again. Oh, look at the damage that thing does. Oh, that's a repair bay. I'm going to destroy that.
Oh, they've destroyed my sandbags. I don't want that. And... Ah, oh, not quite. Ah, destroyed it. Okay, right. I'm destroying those bit by bit. They keep them destroying my sniper, but I can just put them back. Now, of course, the heavy mortars do uh, cost more to fire. Oh, stop it! Ah, that was almost done! Tell you what, with the commander ability, we could totally just make this thing, uh, these guys high explosive, uh, incendiary high explosive, which is gonna be amazing. Aha! I'm just going to wait for this guy. Because he's rather annoying. Aha! Take that. Right, I'm going to put you back. The good thing about sandbags is that they're actually free to repair. I right, and commander ability. Oh, look at that! They all got shot down! <laughs> Pain. Tell you what, then, I'm going to make these hit his front. Right, that's a bit too far forward. Ah, oh, not quite. Right, well, he has definitely got his armadillo since those doors are opening so fast. Right, a bit forward on you. Ah, oh, not quite. Ooh, I'm getting his foundations. Pretty good. Oh, yeah, he can't quite defend it now. Right, I think he's upgraded those. Let's put him back, you know. He's got a lot of machine gunners. Oh, he's metaling up a lot as well. Alright, it might be time to bring out the big guns. And by big guns, I mean the swarm missiles. I just hear... Oh, no, that was mine. Ooh, oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, he's got he's got stuff back there. Ooh, okay, I'm going to have you a little bit higher. Wait, no, you want to go a little bit higher. Okay, they're back. I missed. That's fine, I'm still hitting that guy. There we go. Now I'm really trying to stop him from using those because they could actually mess me up. Okay, I got one. I got my sniper. Though. Right. Actually, now that I think about it, he's not actually doing that much damage to me with those. And incendiary. Oh yeah. Oh, he might be coming down. Oh, oh yeah, that's not going to last much longer. A little bit forward. Just a little bit. A little bit. Right, he's got a flak right there. Let's see if I can destroy it. Oh yeah, they're not shooting. Oh. Right, you need to go a bit forward. Okay, the good thing about flak is that it takes ages to reload. The other good thing about it is that it's very expensive and I can kill it in one shot. I think that came from either there or there. So that's where the doors are. Ooh, okay, well, I got it now. Come on, make it, yes! 
Ah, oh, the full force. What's you got back there, huh? What's you got? Oh man, he's not got much holding him up. He's having a pretty rough do. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to want something that can do a little bit more damage. Next time I open him up, I'm going to use this thing. Now, the reason I'm not defending it so much is because it gets destroyed in three shots. And that is the buzzsaw. You guys are going to finally see me use this thing. Oh, he's got one. Right, I think he's shooting himself with those machine gunners. There we go. Okay, well, I got rid of that. I might make this uh, armor piercing, to be honest. Only single door, but it's fine. It's not like it's a heavy weapon. Oh, I've almost got him. Almost. I'm gonna do that. One reload. And fire again. There it goes. Oh, he's wobbling. Oh, he's gone! GG. Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, then do be sure to like. If you want to see more, than subscribe. If you want to see me do any other tactic or mod related to forts or any other game in general, then do comment down below. I will see you in the, in the next video. Goodbye.